Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today, we're gonna to start our new series of question of the day. Da, da, da. Yeah, question of the day is gonna replace my Q and A's that I used to do where um, basically I did like 10 or 12 or plus questions in a video, uh, a lot of content, not necessarily really detailed. So here, we're just gonna spend uh, every day answering a question. And in this particular case, for the first video, it's a simple question, but it's got a lot of detail to it. It's from Ran and basically wanted to know based on the video I did on the actual Mackie monitors, the CR8XBT uh, studio monitors, can he use these for an electric drum set? Now that's a really good question because he's asking in comparison to using PA speakers. Now, I would say in a rehearsal space or a rec room or anything like that, especially with electric drums, or if you're just using it to sing against, I would probably want to use a PA speaker because I can certainly get the volume that I'm going to want to have against what I'm doing versus the uh, studio speakers, which are built to reproduce the sound crystal clear. Now I'll just look over here because Mackie's got some great words to describe it. Optimized sonic performance is one of them. And you know, they've got a lot of other great keywords here and it's all about quality, quality of sound, quality of play. And it's bringing it back to you the way it was meant to be heard and at the actual edited level that you've done, let's say in your software. That's what happens when you get the Mackies. Wattage wise, big difference. 160 watts, 1000 watts split between the uh, woofer and the horn. Now, you do get two of these when you buy it in a box. So if we're going to do price comparisons, if you buy two of these, these are more expensive than buying two of these. But that's not really what it's about. It's about studio versus PA. Now, could you use it? Well, you could, but you probably eventually end up damaging them and all that money you spent in having something that was really built for crystal clear quality reproduction of sound is going to be gone after a while. Also, over here, you're going to be able to really push it. Now, would I want to use this as an actual studio monitor for playback? I would say no. Uh, and I'm going to explain why. It has nothing to do with the fact that this is an Alto or it's a TS-308. This is a PA speaker. That's the answer. Studio monitor, not so good because how it actually brings about the volume, how it gets that the, the, the oomph in its sound is a good way. Here, the line levels coming in are pretty much fixed. You're gonna adjust it on your computer levels, on your, on your audio interface, you'll do all of that there, but what's going on here is pretty much fixed. What you're actually gonna be doing is when you turn up the volume, you're turning up the gains on the amplifier. So the actual distortion, the background noise, the hissings, the, whatever it is, is proportionate to the amount of volume you put on it. So you're gonna have virtually none of it and it's gonna grow as you increase the volume to whatever maximum level this particular speaker has. But that's how distortion is increased on here. On a PA speaker, whatever the specs say when it comes to distortion level, it's baked in. As soon as you turn the speaker on and you start turning it up, it's done. That, that's in there. You're gonna turn up the levels, let's say, up to the line level. The speaker is gonna be going full tilt, ready for whatever you're going to push out of it, be it your voice or an electric drum set that Rand's got that's what's going to happen. So um, definitely, I wouldn't want to put this in the studio, but I definitely want to put this in my rehearsal space. So hopefully that helps with that. This applies, by the way, to all the brands and all the makes. It's pretty much a given rule. Um, quality, quantity. That's what it's going to be all about. Now remember, if we're talking PA speakers, these are going to knock it out of the park. That's great. If we're talking studio monitors, this is going to knock that out of the park because you're going to set this up the way the instructions tell you to set it up. So, same thing here. I hope that uh, helps. That is going to be our question for today. And it's all wrapped up. If you're looking for other videos, of course, they're there. If you'd like to see more questions of the day, which are handy dandy for everybody, please subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to find out about it right away. That's all the YouTube stuff you need to know. See you next time. Bye for now.